Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to our presentation on the work Veracity Aware and Event Driven Personalized News Recommendation for Fake News Mitigation. I'm the first author, Dr. Shao Jin Wang. And first of all, I would like to thank all the co authors and collaborators uh, like Xiao Fei and Xiu Zhen, Yan, and Wen Zhuo from different universities. Okay, I will present our work from the four uh, parts. So first, I will introduce the background of our work. Then I will, I will present the uh, proposed approach followed by the experiments and the conclusions. So let's start from the introduction. So actually, uh, as we can see uh, every day, fake news has been uh, going around uh, in the website, right? Uh, for example, fake news has been recognized as a huge threat to our societies. There are a variety of fake news, uh, like the political propaganda and the financial propaganda. And this actually uh, triggers the uh, lead to mitigate fake news, to make a more clean and uh, trustworthy network. Uh, actually, there are some existing work on fake news mitigation, and uh, they, <clears throat> they mostly uh, try to develop strategies to introduce true news to counteract the spread of fake news on social networks. And uh, they mostly based on uh, information diffusion models, such as the independent cascade model, uh, point process models and uh, reinforcement learning models. And they utilize these models to maximize the propagation of true news on uh, networks. However, this works uh, have two uh, obvious deficiencies. One is that they only work on the whole network and the such can hardly work on individual users, right? If we want to mitigate the true news for one specific user. How do that, right? And the second thing is that they had to deploy them uh, on real world social networks due to dynamic information diffusion strategy and diverse news topics and events. So uh, this actually triggers the need to develop new methods and new solutions for fake news mitigation. Uh, towards this uh, goal, we focus on a lower research problem that is how to design a practical intervention strategy to deter individual users from sharing fake news. So our solution is to recommend a personalized corrective true news to individual users. Actually, news recommendation system has uh, have been playing an um, increasingly important role in our daily life. And they can actually influence and even changing users' reading behaviors. For example, uh, we can open an app on our mobile phone, and then the app uh, can recommend us a lot of news, right? And uh, when you see this, you may ask, uh, can we simply use or employ the e existing conventional news recommendation system for fake news mitigation? Unfortunately, the answer is low. Why? The reason is that news recommendation for fake news mitigation is based on uniquely uh, characterized data and how their different goal. So their data characteristics can be specific into two uh, perspectives. So the first one is that uh, the data user for fake news mitigation actually uh, often are associated to some event information, for example, the US election or the COVID-19. And also uh, the news often have the veracity information, like the news may be true or fake. Here, we, I just give a quick example. For example, a user has to read a sequence of news here. And some of them are true news, right? Are true news. Uh, and some of them are fake news. 
And there are maybe different topics or events associated with this news. So what we need to do is to recommend our two news here as the user's select choice. And the news should be relevant to uh, all the news which has been read by the users in terms of their events and topic. So we need to do two things for our goals to achieve our goal. First, first thing is personalization, which means the recurrent news should be relevant to the events the user recently focused on. And the second thing is that the recurrent news should be true. Okay. So to achieve our goal, there are actually three challenges. So the first one is how to recommend the relevant news. And second one, how to only recommend the true news when the veracity of the candidate news is unknown. And the third one is how to model the transition over latent events while avoiding the interference from news veracity related information. And uh, uh, now we have give a brief introduction of our, our work. Then we go to the uh, solution and the approach we have proposed for this work. Before we go to the technical details, first we have a look at the problem statement. So the problem is that for each user you given the user given the news set CEO which can set off a sequence of news uh, related uh, read by the users you. And we build a model M to first predict the veracity of each candidate, each candidate news, and then generate our list of two news uh, RU, which interests the user to the most. So we can formalize the problem in this way. Right? And uh, uh, more specifically, here we just uh, pick up one user, user two, and here is uh, he, uh, her four news how to read in uh, recent time, right? And we can see sun news is uh, two news indicated by the uh, green color and sun news are uh, actually uh, fake news, right? And also they have different uh, events or sort of 80, right? As underlined here, right? So the target is to recommend our list of news here as the next choice of the user, U2. And the news should be uh, both relevant to uh, the events focused by the users here, and also the news should be true here. Right. So to achieve this goal, we actually propose a lower model called Rick for meet, which is short for recommendation for fake news mitigation. And this model contains three main modules. First one is the event veracity disentangle model to uh, divide the event information and the veracity of information of each news into two separate latent vectors. That is the event embedding and the veracity embedding. And then the second model is the event detection and the transition model to detect the possible events or sort of with each news. And then model the sequential transitions over events by taking the event embedding as the input. And the third one, model is the prediction model, and we try to predict the latest news according to both the event information and the veracity information. So here is the model architecture. You can see uh, actually the right part is the specific uh, of the one component here, that is the event veracity, veracity is tangled. So this is how we look at the overall structure here. So we can see we have three modules, right? Uh, before we go to the modules, we first uh, in, embed or encode the, each news into our embedding vector here right? using an embedding layer. And then we input the embedding of each news into the disentangle module, right? And to divide the embedding into two parts, one is the event uh, representation and our, our other is the veracity, uh, veracity embedding. And then we only take the event uh, embedding into the second module, that is the event detection and the transition module. First, we detect which events may be associated with, uh, with each news. And then we model the sequential dependencies over a sequence of events in the context news. In this way, we can recommend the next related news 
which have the similar or even the same event uh, as the context news. Simultaneously, we will also um, take the veracity embedding of the candidate news into the uh, or classifier, which can classify the veracity of information of each candidate news. And finally, we can recommend both the related news and the true news by combining uh, the event information and the veracity information modeled by the different components here. Now we go to the experiment part. Uh, we evaluate the recommendation results from two perspectives. So the first one is from the traditional recommendation perspective, that is to measure the relevance of the predicted news and the uh, ground truth news. So we use the record and the MR and the CG to measure whether the recommended news is relevant or not. And the second perspective is the veracity, we try to measure the ratio of true news in the recommended list, whether only true news, this is to justify whether only true news was recommended to the users. So here is the uh, accuracy uh, result. So we can see uh, uh, our model record for Mitch actually uh, outperforms all the existing methods, especially the news recommender systems with a clear margin here, right? Okay, on both two data sets. And also we can see our uh, model record for, uh, record for Mitch achieved a higher ratio of true news in the generated recommendation list right here. Here we perform an uh, ablation analysis to see whether the desired components or modules are effective and reasonable or not. Right? And then we compare the uh, performance of the, all, all the four model and the three of its uh, warrants we can see uh, all the time the, our model, the four model can achieve the best performance on both two data sets, right? So this actually validates the effectiveness of our desired components. And finally, we have conduct a very interesting uh, case study to pick up some recommendation results generated by our model here. We can see here, we pick up, randomly pick up four users here. And the first row of this user is the context news, which ha ha has been read by the users. Uh, and the second row uh, is the uh, recommendation results generated by our uh, model. We can see, we can take the user one as an example. We can say the user one has read both the true news, right? And the fake news, and of different events and topics here, right? as underlined here. And our recommendation results is that we can see first, we, uh, all the recommendation results are true news, right? Uh, indicated by the green color. And also we can recommend the relevant news, which has the true, uh, which has the same event and the topic information as the uh, event focus by the user in the context news here, right? So you can see. So, and uh, of course, we can see all the other uh, the recommendation results for the other users have the similar uh, conclusions as we draw here for the first user here. Right? So this is this actually how empirically demonstrate uh, the effectiveness of our proposed model, and also the effective uh, from both the accuracy and the veracity perspective. That means. Our, recommend, our model can recommend both the true news and the related news to uh, mitigate fake news uh, effect effectively. Yeah. And uh, uh, now we come to the conclusions. We focus on lower problem, and then we propose a lower model rig for meet. And finally, we recommend both personalized and collective true news for fake news mitigation. That's all for our work and thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via the email here. Okay, that's all. Thank you.